Now since you know how to set up two different blitzes, use this coverage scheme to go ahead and mess up your opponent and get easy interceptions. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes that post my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, guys, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So, guys, this is a third part of a three-part series. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and go to my uh, defensive tips section. You'll be able to go ahead and get the other two parts of my ro Oki Roll def uh, two uh, defensive scheme out of the dollar uh, three two six or the big dime 146. Uh, this is a defensive scheme that I've actually developed uh, that has got dual edge pressure off of the edges that you can go and jump into at multiple different types of formations. And then it actually, uh, what's great about it is that you can use all different types of coverages to really mess up your opponent uh, to make it very difficult for them to make some reads. Now, I want to show you some of the great plays that are actually in this particular this uh, defense. You've got a cover four drop contain. A cover four drop. That's one of the better defenses in the game. Uh, it doesn't allow any any kind of pressure up top. You've got uh, safeties are playing run fits. Uh, it's a very good defense to use. Some people just run uh, a, a cover four drop the entire game. So this is cool to actually have this. And what's cool about this particular defensive scheme we're going to show you is that you you can disguise this coverage in particular. Well, they're never going to know that you're running cover four until they snap the ball. Um, another thing about it too is that you've got a, a cover three sky press that you can go and jump into and a cover two drop is one of your base defenses. And then we also have different variations of the defenses that we can run uh, to go ahead and give a different shell against your opponent to mess them up in their reads. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this bigger, uh, this, uh, this scheme right now. And we're going to go ahead and make some adjustments. First and foremost, the cover two man uh, linebacker blitz, we're going to change it to cover four. I'm going to leave the cover two drop and the cover three spy. And spinner, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this out uh, for a defense that actually comes pressure off the edge we're going to go with the edge blitz one uh, just so we can get some more pressure off that edge uh, with uh, with uh, man coverages all right, so this is basically the defense we'll be looking at. Uh, and what's cool about this defense is that you can just use this, you can just make a, a, a generic cover uh, two defense out of this adjustment. So well, how I'm running this figure defense is I'm either shifting my line off to off to the right or I'm actually playing over the middle. Uh, and I can give my opponent kind of the same look. One of the things I'll actually do on defense is I'm going to go ahead and take uh, my... Uh, uh, my inside uh, uh, defender, my defensive back, which is L1, uh, which is X Woods. I'm going to go ahead and put him in a deep third. So I'm going to hit the left bumper after I select him in deep third and actually put him in deep third like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use her, whatever guy I'll normally use her uh, in this particular play. So let's just go ahead and take uh, my one guy up uh, and actually put him right over the middle right here. And now I've got basically just a, uh, a pressure that I can throw against my opponent uh, as far as uh, a look right there. Now I had a nice little block shed. You're not going to get blocked shit like that, but now I have coverage I can set up. Now, uh, once again, I can go ahead and, and do the same type of look against my opponent. I can take uh, basically my one guy, put him in a deep third. I can take this guy and actually put him into um, basically into a spy. And that's going to allow me to go ahead have a guy that's going to drag across the middle of the field and contain any kind of a quarterback look that goes off the side right there. So that's just another way that you can go ahead and just mess up your opponent's reads. Uh, this, this is more of a variation of what I would do if I was going to run this type of coverage. So let's just go ahead and set this back up again. And we're going to we're gonna go ahead and use this guy right here. And we're going to put user him uh, right in the middle. So the, I would probably, in, in kind of bunch sets, I'd probably run this coverage just a couple times just to keep my opponent honest uh, right there uh, and actually go ahead and try to go ahead and throw, throw around with it. Now, this is what's cool about this blitz. Now, the guys actually come down. And what I can do is I can jump into other types of defenses without actually giving my opponent any kind of tell. I just jumped into a cover four, but he actually sees the blitz. I just jumped into cover two, and for the most part, he's seeing the same type of a blitz. All I have to do is just go ahead and crash my guys down. Uh, he's showing the same type of a blitz. I can go ahead and use this guy right over the middle. Uh, he's not, he, does not, he doesn't know that I've got a cover two shell that's going to look kind of like this. Also, I can go into cover three, same type of situation. Go ahead, crash these guys down. Now I've got a cover three shell. I've got a hook zone that's going right over the middle. I'm going to go ahead and play over the middle. Uh, so that's what's cool about this, this play is that I've got ways that 
that I can go and attack my opponent with uh, with all these different types of blitzing areas uh, with, with with this particular play. So uh, let's you know the, you know I can use a man blitz and all that kind of stuff. So this gives us, gives you a lot of flexibility. You're giving your opponent the same type of a look, but you still have the access to that pressure, that blitz pressure that 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 he's not used to seeing. So. What I love about this group, this this defense, and what why most pro players have defenses like this is that they have a defensive setup where they know they can get pressure. Whenever they need it, they can get it. They've got pressure when they want to. So if they want to send the dogs after somebody, they're going to go ahead and send the dogs after them. And uh, what they can jump into is coverage without having to make too many adjustments. So basically, what I have is I have I have a selection of, of some of the biggest, some of the best coverages in the game. I've got cover four. I've got basically a cover three sky. That I can jump into. I got a cover two drop that I can that I can jump into, uh, and then I've got man blitzes that I can jump into too. And it's going to be very difficult for my opponent to make these type of reads because the adjustments are so subtle, but they're not. They're still going to be seeing the same type of coverage that they're going to be going after. So once again, guys, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to see me in gameplay. If I get an opportunity in Draft Champions to go ahead and run this in Draft Champions, I will. Uh, but this is going to be a defensive strategy uh, that I'll be using just to try to mess up my opponent's reads because a lot of people don't see this rookie roll defense uh, in the game, uh, and it's just going to mess up the reads a little bit. And I know I'm going to have pressure that I can go ahead and use against them. So, guys, thanks once again for your support. Make sure you smash that like button if you're new to my channel and you like these type of tips. And until next time.